Bradley Cooper, terrific actor, and boy, oh boy, now an intrepid New Yorker. He re is recalling a, a, a crazy, terrifying moment during his time in New York City. Good day, Wake Up Banker. Dan Bowens joins us from the Upper East Side with details this morning. I can't believe what he did. Uh, you're talking about how he pushed the knife away, right? I mean, Bradley Cooper is not known as an action star. He's more of like a rom-com kind of an actor. And he says that at some point in his life, someone told him that if you are stuck up with a knife, that you should just stand still and try to work your way out of it. Well, he didn't follow that advice at all. He says he knocked the knife out of the way when someone confronted him on a New York City subway platform. He says this happened about two years ago. He's not saying exactly where this happened, but we know that it happened happened before the pandemic and before some of the crime that we're seeing on the subway now. But it is an example that even if you are a global movie superstar, you are not immune to some of the dangers down below here in New York City. Now, here's what Cooper says happened. He says that he was held up down below the subway. The hangover star said he'd become way too comfortable walking around in New York City and left himself vulnerable. He admitted to that back in October of 2019. Cooper says he was confronted by a stranger while on the way to collect his now four-year-old daughter, Leia, from school here in New York. Now, he didn't specify exactly what stop this happened or where he was, but he says he was wearing his headphones and wearing sunglasses and oblivious to his surroundings. That's when he claims a man came up behind him and stuck a knife in his face. Cooper says he pushed the knife away and started running. He described what happened next during a recent episode of the Armchair Expert podcast with Dax Shepard. Take a listen. Jumped over the turnstile, hit around the white tiled uh, foyer entrance to the subway, took my phone out. Okay. He jumped over, running away, up, and I took a photo of him. And then I chased him up the stairs. He started running up 7th Avenue. I took two more photographs of him. I ran down two police officers in an SUV showed them the the photograph and i'm like talking to them and the guy kept saying it was so interesting he's like are, are you stabbed and i was like oh, no 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 oh. he goes and he goes no no check to see if you're stabbed because oh, realizing wow. like, like what happens if people get stabbed and they're in shock oh my yeah. god yeah and i looked to see if he was right it was crazy bro Ooh. oh my god i didn't even know this yeah and then i got back on the subway and picked up my daughter and he's remembering that in such great detail. He says that he remembers seeing the blade. He described it as about two or three inches long. He actually said that it looked like the knife had a little bit of history. Those are his words. He says that the knife looked kind of vintage and kind of older. Now, a spokesperson for the NYPD says that Cooper never actually filed a police report here. And it's clear that this would-be robber, attacker, never actually was arrested. Cooper says that behind the mask, he could tell that it was a young person. But that's basically the the only details that he provided on this individual but as you mentioned like an intrepid new yorker after this alleged mugging happened he got back on the subway and went to go pick up his daughter rosanna back inside to you uh, i can't believe that that is the craziest story thank you so much dan